Our first Zimmer or Kubota Country Roads could not have taken us to a better game. Anna traveling to Aubrey. The fans were ready and brought the energy and excitement all game. Well, let me just tell you, there, there's more school spirit at this school than any place I've ever been. The kids love it. They're excited about being here. The fan support is amazing, and it's just a great place to be. Anna had a great season last year and looked to keep the momentum going. Nice moment to start the game as members of both schools' FFA programs raised the flag for the national anthem. After a quick strike by Anna, Aubrey marched down the field and tied the score as Wesley Huber takes the handoff and punches it in. That would tie the game at 7-all in the first quarter. Anna using their speed to make big plays all night. Jabari Finney taking the punt at the 49-yard line, cuts outside, avoids the defense, and cuts back inside. Watch the spin move. That opens the field and Anna goes up 14-7. No slowing down the Coyotes. Here, Evan Bullock would put one up and right on the money for Sean Steens, who is in the end zone. That pushes the lead to 21-7 after a successful two-point conversion. Aubrey would respond with a score of their own, but with just minutes to go in the half, Bullock would once again test the Chaparral secondary. This time, he goes short to Jonathan Brown. Brown would not be denied, breaking a tackle or two or three. Wrapped up, he lunges into the end zone to make the halftime score 27-14. Anna fans were certainly feeling good about the lead. I love coming out to these games because everyone's always here showing up and really supporting the team. And it makes it a lot funner to come because you have like this whole community supporting everyone. Both teams would put points on the board early in the third quarter, but the alarm went off and it was time for the Chaparrales to go to work. Blaine Poland, looking downfield, spotting a wide open Tay Ross in the end zone. That made it 33-28. Middle of the fourth quarter and after a turnover on downs by Anna, Aubrey would march down the field and once again turn to Wesley Huber to punch it in to give the Chaparrales the lead 34-33. Anna unable to get a first down, Aubrey had possession and looked to run down the clock. The Chaparrales would get it all the way down to the two where Kai Bagley appears to go down to keep the clock running. After a couple of penalties pushes them back, Aubrey takes a knee on three straight plays leaving just 12 seconds on the clock. An incompletion would leave the Coyotes with six seconds and 84 yards to go. Seth Parr says we got this. Evan Bullock would go short across the middle to Cameron Augerson. He pitches back to Jacob Emmers, cutting across the field. Using his speed and vision, works his way from one side of the field to the other, picking up some blocks and making defenders miss. And with the clock expired, Emmers makes it into the end zone to give Anna the unbelievable win, 39 to 34. Congratulations to Anna on the amazing victory in our first Zimmer or Kubota Country Roads game. Yeah, we made it. We had to make them go for it on fourth down. So the only chance, we caught it on third down, they could have nailed it and it had been over. So we just needed some time, 17 seconds, to give yourself a chance. I'm not gonna lie. I didn't think I was gonna run all, day, run all the way down there like that. I was tired. I looked and gave up, I ain't gonna lie. But once he threw it to me, I knew I was gonna score. Country Roads are brought to you by Zimmer or Kubota, proudly serving North Texas for over 40 years with the highest quality Kubota product and service solutions, family owned and operated since 1979.